We're at the Great Tomato Tasting, where we invite consumers out to taste tomatoes. We've been trying to develop a new great tasting tomato since 2010. We really uh, remade the, the original cross that made the original Rector's tomato, JTT Marglobe. Here in this tent, there are people tasting five different tomato varieties. The tasters don't know which selection they're, they're consuming, and they grade on sweetness, acidity, texture, and overall flavor. Once we grade them out, hopefully we've got a, a winner, something that's as good or better than what's commercially available, and we hope to make seed of that variety and release it next year for the 250th anniversary. We hope it resonates with the public, like the traditional, what they think of as a Jersey tomato. There's so many elements that make a great tomato. It, it's really hard to define. I mean, you know, you want, I, I personally love that sweetness. A nice balance of acidity and a nice meaty texture. All that kind of slimy, delicious uh, gel. Color. Could be red. I prefer red. I really like them salted, and they're really good. It's like tasting a good wine. Does it fill your mouth and have a nice aftertaste, or does it just sort of go flat at the end of your tongue. <laughs> the people of New Jersey have a certain vibrancy to them and a certain enthusiasm and excitement and passion as you can uh, sense from us Jerseyans and we want that in our tomatoes. People in New Jersey are rather dynamic and uh, a good tomato is the same thing. You want to maximize that flavor. The idea came from working a little bit with Campbell's Soup. A researcher there, Dot Hall, suggested why don't we you know, explore history and remake that cross. We kind of timed it to try, hoping we would come up with something for the 250th, looking at that kind of a historical year and, and kind of retrace history. We, we call it Rediscover the Rutgers Tomato, so it was uh, really it's a lot more about history than so much science.